Hey guys, this is Matthew Johnson. I wanted to take this time and welcome you to, actually this is the maiden voyage right here. This is the very first step to having, we'll just set the expectation to maybe, maybe a monthly vlog. And, you know, doing a, a monthly vlog is, is hard enough. I can only imagine the guys that do these things on a daily basis or a weekly basis. And my hat's off to them that they've got more time than I do. But one of the things that I wanted to make certain that I did under every circumstance was make certain that I was giving you content that was going to be usable, something that was going to be genuine, and something that would affect your life in, in maybe one way or another. Maybe it just made you happy. Maybe it made you smile. Maybe it just gave you a little bit of inspiration. But here's what I do know. I know that we're coming to the end of 2018. And if you're anything like me, you're looking already at 2019. I've been looking at 19 for probably a couple of months now. And it's really important that as we look forward into the next year, that number one, we know what we want out of next year. And number two, that we look forward to trying to accomplish those things. You know, accomplishing big goals is, that's, that's not the point. You know, you want to make, say, $100,000. It's not making the $100,000 that is really of value. It's what you become in the process of getting to that point where you're making $100,000. And so I hope that you enjoy this. It's going to be really down to earth. It's going to be grassroots, salt of the earth kind of stuff. And I hope that it is helpful to you. So we want valuable content. That's my hope for this little vlog. And so today I wanted to talk about something that I thought was probably going to maybe help you in your attempt to try to reach your goals in 2019. And really, I think that all of us, as we're surrounded by all of our best friends and we're surrounded by our mentors and we're surrounded by people that we respect, there's certain things about all of those people that we, we think we were, we kind of wish we were that person, right? And Maybe we read a book, maybe we watch a video, maybe, maybe we hear something and immediately we're inspired and we want to take action. Well, here's what I wanted to give you for content today and I hope that it is helpful. Um, there's a little law called the, uh, the law of, of diminishing intent. And you know exactly what this is. Everybody knows what this is. You see, what happens is sometimes we have inspiration that comes into our life and we hear it, we see it, we read it, whatever it may be. And for just a moment, we feel really, really inspired. And we say to ourselves, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and I'm going to do that. Maybe it's, you know, losing a few pounds. Maybe it's being a little bit more diligent in your investing. Maybe it's taking more time with your children. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you that 97%, that's the, the, the statistical probability, 97% of the individuals that have that little flash of genius or that little moment of inspiration, they're going to think about it so long and then all of a sudden what's going to happen is their mind is going to talk them out of it. And that is the law of diminishing intent. So here's the thing. I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge. Now, of course, Please don't judge me because you probably don't know what this book is, but I'm going to encourage you that one of the best things that I started in 2018 was, was reading. Now, I've always been a reader to the extent that I had to read because of the industry that I'm in, but you know, I've never been a, a spe specifically a good reader. I've never really read a, uh, very quickly. Um, I had difficulty with remembering and retaining the information that I was reading. But what I've been inspired to find is a couple of things. Number one, the more I read, the faster I began to read. Now, that was inspiring in and of itself. I just realized I was reading faster. Number two, I really started to enjoy reading because I, I had to force myself to read uh, at first. But I also learned that if you read really good books, you don't want to put those books down. You want to keep reading them. And so there's kind of a momentum that you begin to, to build as you're reading these books. But then I heard uh, a gentleman by the name of Jim Quick. And if you don't know who he is, look him up. The guy is, 
is a magnificent speaker. He talks about the brain and how to use the brain, and, and he's had a really challenging background, and today he's one of the best memory champions, I think, in the world. But um, he made a comment about reading that, I, that really inspired me, and he basically said, you know, when you read a book, you're taking maybe 10 years of experience and you're <clears throat> distilling it down into hours. So as individuals, we have a choice. We can either go out and live life for 10 years and, and just hope and pray that we get those, those lessons learned from all those experiences, or potentially we read a book and we fast forward and accelerate our learning. And, you know, time is money in my world, and I need to be able to see and to help as many people as possible. And so I thought, well, I'm going to do this. And so I started reading, and all of those benefits started coming to me, and I really started enjoying it. But I started with one book that specifically has completely revolutionized my life. And I know that the title sounds different. I know that the title is something that you might hear and say, oh, that's, that's exactly what a financial advisor would read. It doesn't have anything to do with me. But I'm going to tell you, you need to go out and you need to buy today. And I don't care if you do it by Audible. I don't care if you do it uh, off from Amazon. I don't care if you go to your public library. And oh, by the way, only 3% of our population have library cards, which is a real shame. It's no wonder we're becoming more dumb as we get older. Um, but the reality is I want you to go out and grab this book written by a gentleman by the name of Napoleon Hill. Back in the 1920s, um, Napoleon Hill wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich. And it is not just about money. It is about growing rich in every area of your life. And I'm going to tell you, if you will take the, the challenge today to go out and to buy the book and to begin reading it, reading it every single day. And when you get done reading the book, start over and read it and reread it and keep rereading it. And then teach it to your children and share it with your friends. Have them read it. Have study groups over this book. It is so good. I inspire you to do it. I challenge you to do it. Now, here's the thing. You might say, you know what? I want to make 2019 better than 2018. That's what you should be thinking. You see, we have a lot of pulls in our life. Sometimes we have a pull to go one direction. We have a pull to go another direction. What I find from dealing with literally thousands of people every single year is the fact that oftentimes we live in the past, and our past is the thing that's pulling us back. It's pulling us back to the ground. It's pulling us to look backwards instead of forwards. I want to challenge you to take 2019 in your mind, and I want you to make 2019 in your mind before you get to it. You see, you can't build a house until you've already built a house. You see, if, if, if you were just taking and laying down bricks, okay, and someone walked up to you and said, what are you doing? And you said, well, I'm just laying down bricks. And, and they say, well, what are you building? And you say, I, I don't know. Well, guess what? They're going to take you away from a, to a really nice, safe place, okay? So what do you need to do? You need to build the house before you begin building the house. And what does that mean? It means you need to build your 2019 in your mind before you get to 2019. And you need tools, you need inspiration, you need, you need people and things and knowledge to be able to help you grow and excel and become the better person that you know that you can be and the person that you want to be. But I inspire you to, to go out and to read Think and Grow Rich I, I really encourage you to take 2019 and be thinking about it right now. Take a piece of paper. Don't write on the back of a, of a napkin or the back of a placemat at a, at, a, at a restaurant. Go out, grab yourself a notebook, sit down, turn off all the music, turn off all the televisions, turn off all the noise, and just start to dream about 2019 and what you want out of it. Write those things down. Forget the how. Okay, none of us know how we're going to do things. Henry Ford didn't know how he was going to build the first automobile. In fact, there was, there was tools and techniques and things that were going to be needed to build that automobile, but they hadn't even been invented yet. He had to invent them while he was inventing the automobile. But it is important to give yourself the time 
to be able to develop in your mind what you want out of 2019. And then as you enter 2019, I want you to look at those goals and I want you to look at those things. And I want you to begin to be able to build a plan. Things will come to you as long as you focus on the things that you want to become. It's just the way of life. And all too often, so many people spend their entire life and then they get to the, their deathbed and they say, gee, I wish I would have. Well, make this the year that you don't say something like that. You say, I'm so glad I tried. I'm so glad I went after it. I'm so glad that I did it. Because here's the thing. You can shoot for the stars, um, and even if you miss the stars, just think about how much higher you are today, okay? So hopefully this has given you a little bit of inspiration. It doesn't matter what your goals are. You're going to have different goals than I do, and that's okay. That's what makes America wonderful. That's what uh, adds that variety, that spice of life, and that's the reason we can love each other because we all have different dreams and aspirations, but do yourself a favor. Build 2019 before you enter it and go out and begin to read, think, and grow rich. Remember, it's the law of diminishing intent. Don't let that intent that you have right now diminish. Go out and act. Do it. Do it today. Decide you're going to do it and then go out and do it and never look back. If you do that, I guarantee you 2019 will be the best year you've ever had. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.